Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is your Speedrider Gaming here. We are back with some more of um, a tutorial video and in today's video, we're actually gonna be I'm actually gonna be teaching you guys how to use this recorder, how what are the features that's inside, why is it the best recorder, all the kind of stuff I will be explaining in today's video. And some of you have requested me to do this, so this is the video for you guys. And um, I would recommend this is the best recorder for Android or iOS. For Android, that this is definitely the best recorder because of um, you know there's so many recorders out there, but this is the only one that actually shines, uh, you know, uh, above them all because of the amount of features they have amount of things that you can do in this recorder so let's get right into this ladies and gentlemen if you guys want to see some more of a tutorial video where i actually teach you how to use kai master the editing app that i use or how i make my thumbnails with the apps of um, ps touch and um pixel lab or PixArt, all the kind of apps. If you want me to do a thumb, um, a tutorial, thumb, a thumbnail tutorial, or a um, edit video editing tutorial, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, just give this video a like if you guys want to see more of this. All right, let's get right into these, um, this part of this video where I'm actually going to be going through the analysis of this whole app. So this app is free. It's available in both iOS and the, um, the App Store and the Google Play Store. I will, which I will put the links in the description, followed by. Um, I'm going, actually going to be going through this app right now. So on the screen, you see this whole interface. This um, uh, was it the clipboard, not the clipboard, the the clapboard with the um, play icon over there. It actually shows you the recordings that you have done with this recorder. So it actually shows you amount of videos you have, the the size of the video, the um, the duration of the video, and um, the different you know. Uh, the different types of videos that you have done you can also rename them if you click this a little uh, icon over here so it allows you to edit delete or even rename the file itself so whenever you're editing if you're trying to look for the correct file you by renaming by renaming it it actually you know gives you a better um, actually helps you remember better all right moving on to the next one we have the image tab so you can actually import your camera your phone pic your pictures or your camera uh, storage whatever pictures that you have taken with your camera on your device you can actually import them from there onto here next we have the live tab so this is also an app where you can actually watch um live streams on youtube on twitch all the kind of stuff or or on different live streaming platforms you can use d recorder for now d recorder only supports i would say rtmp youtube twitch and facebook so you can watch those live streams in this app right here and you can actually scroll through the different categories that you can um if you are a fan of different categories you can watch so yeah that's about it and uh, moving on to the next tab we have a so-called a editing plus a thumbnail making um page for in this app itself and I wouldn't recommend this um, to, to, for you guys to actually edit your videos, do your thumbnails in this app because there's so many apps out there that you can actually edit, um, edit and uh, make your thumbnails even 10 times better with this app. But this is just to, you know, just to tell you, just to let you know. All right, lastly, we have the settings where we have the video resolution. I can keep it to 1080, 720. This is the maximum for most devices, 720 or 1080p. Mine is 1440p because of my screen resolution, my device, Razer phone. That's why I can, all my videos can be a bit higher quality than 1080p. All right, video quality, that's the video, video resolution rather. Video quality, I'll keep it auto re recommended by the app itself. FPS recommended by the app itself. Video orientation from portrait to landscape to land from landscape to portrait. Either way, put in the auto, saves, saves time for you. Record audio. Internal audio recording is not allowed by Android now. All right, this is a problem that most of you, most of you have been uh, asking me, how do you solve this problem? How are you able to record internal audio? Very simple. I will have something on something on the screen right now, and I'm yeah. actually going to be showing you a so-called like a pop-up from D Recorder themselves. So they will actually tell you that um, hey, you know, um, in order for you to actually record internal audio, you have to enable this function, and um, you got to give permission for D Recorder. So uh, I will be showing you another picture, which actually leads you onto the pop-up that just. Um, that just appeared so when you click turn it on 
from the previous pop-up they actually tell you to turn it on or cancel if you click turn it on it will prompt you to the to your settings page to your um, permissions page for the recorder you click permissions you click everything that's um, you know not you can actually there's like a slider you can just slide it to the right to enable it and once you've done that you back it out and then you can actually start recording so that is how you do internal recording boards Next, so we have video location, so you can actually um, choose your way, choose um, where you want to save your videos, your SD card or in your storage emulator. I have my SD card, I have my internal storage. My internal storage is actually 64 gigabytes. Um, I believe 10 gigs is a system and then the rest, 10 or 15 gigs is system. The rest is all, um, you know, videos, um, photos, all the other kind of stuff. I have my SD card, 8 gigs of SD card um, storage in there. So I can put, um, you know, as many videos as I can. And it actually tells you how long, um, how many minutes of video time you can actually put it there. So for um, 8 gigs, you can actually put, um, you know, two hours and two minutes and 25 seconds of um, video time there for internal storage for SD card you can put one hour 33 minutes and um, yeah I mean that's about it I mean it's good because they can actually they actually tell you how much of time precise precisely um, you can actually put of video time you can put in your in your storage all right next we have the control settings where we have recording standard definitely recording I will put standard powerful recommended for most devices basic doesn't support pause and it's more stable recommended for low configuration devices or those with that lag when recording so for devices that lag when recording click um, put it to basic everything will will be good for you hide the record window window when recording all right some of you i've seen in your videos where when you actually record there's, there's this little um, icon where it actually shows you the recording like you recording the video if you can actually turn that off by clicking this um option so you activate this option there won't be any little icon on your screen while you're recording a gameplay or a video um a shadows video or any other kind any other kind of stuff like that um this will actually help you and it's actually recommended by many youtubers because they they don't want to see like a little like spot of you know like the recording on the video right it, it just it just irritates them so that is the reason why they have this functionality in it all right next shake phone to stop recording this is up to you this is optional if you want to shake your phone when you're done recording it's up to you it's a fun feature might as well just do it for me i personally don't um you know recommend i i, I personally don't do this that's my preference but this is so this option is just your own opinion if you want to do you do it if you don't want to do it, it's it's your choice nobody's gonna force you next we have uh we have the not close app when you exit the floating window so turn it on to record with notifications so whenever you want so once you exit the floating window which is the little icon you can actually just turn this on so you can actually record with your notifications all the kind of stuff and uh, you can actually disable pop-up notifications after screenshots you know whenever you take a screenshot there's always a notification that tells you hey your screenshot has been saved um that kind right so you can actually enable this to actually prevent that so this is also another feature for you people out there for all the new youtubers content creators out there next we have the countdown so you can actually um have a countdown before you actually start a video if like you want to drink some water or if you want to um, check your your stream make sure everything is good or check your recording make sure everything is good right you have your countdown it will actually um, count down for you and then once it's over the count is over you can actually start your stream or recording up to you I would recommend you guys doing that so hide the recording button on home page can do that keep recording when screen is off so if you're off your screen recording will still be going on i would just keep it like that pause recording for incoming calls you can do that if you know in case if suddenly your your parents call you or your friends or your girlfriend if they call you you can actually pause that all right next we have our uh, recording tools we have the screenshot camera brush gift recorder watermark all right screenshot you can just enable this it will take a screenshot for you camera you can put your face cam on it you can put a brush i do not know what brush is beautify your face i guess a gift recorder you can actually record a gift with um a small like within a few seconds watermark okay watermark is something that people also hate because when you actually see your video 
you actually have a video at this like this little watermark at the bottom um, right of the video where it actually says do you recorder you can actually turn that off with this um, feature so you can disable it and uh, it actually shows you like that so if you enable it actually shows this but if you disable it won't show anything so that is actually pretty good because of um to actually you know make your videos look clean look smooth and um you know just make sure make it a video where everybody enjoys it that's all all right next we have a personalized watermark for recording personalized watermark for live streaming so for those who don't know you guys know i have a custom watermark for live streaming i can actually do this and um i mean i mean might as well just enable this right now so personal personalized watermark for live stream i can't even speak when this function is enabled a watermark will appear on your live streams so currently it's a vertical you click this you can you change it to um landscape and then you go at the bottom of the um, the screen over here, add an image. It will show you all the images you have in your storage. I'm just going to go over to Pixel Lab and then I'm just going to show you my watermark real quick. If this actually loads. Uh, yeah, this one. So this will actually go down over here. It might feel small, but that is how you can do it. That is the norm of this app, by the way. So you can just adjust it with your your fingertips i'm just gonna keep it like there and then you click ok you can add another one and then you can do you can do this i will show you over here then you have this can i yeah there we go then you expand it and then there you have it that is your watermark ladies and gentlemen so you can do that um for me i have my custom stream overlay that's how you do it so whenever i'm streaming or i'm recording for live streaming rather so this is the layout that's going to look like depending on different types of um, critical ops or PUBG video i might have to change the watermarks before i actually start live streaming so that's about it for this one um you can also do it for recording up to you others we have video editor shortcut and um yeah that's about it to be honest before we go we are actually going to be um i actually want to do a live um, recording i actually want to teach you how to start a live recording but um there's actually a video by the recorder themselves they actually teach you how to start a live stream which i will link it in the description below so make sure to check that and uh, that's about it this is your host Pizarro Game here signing off and i'll see y'all in the next video very very soon have an amazing day and peace out